Hey guys, in this video I will show you the difference between on-grid, off-grid and hybrid solar power systems. At the end of the video I will explain how my hybrid AC coupled system works. In a grid tight system, solar panels are connected to a string inverter, directly integrated into your home breakers panel. This breakers panel in turn is connected to the grid, creating a flow of electricity from your solar panels to your home and the electricity grid. Grid tie solar systems are popular for homes because they connect directly to the power grid and don't use batteries. These systems are simple. Using solar panels and a string inverter that changes the solar power into electricity your home can use. When the sun's out, your solar panels make electricity for your appliances. Any extra power returns to the grid and you get credit for it. This credit can help lower your power bills. This is called net metering. This type of solar system is cheaper because you don't need to buy batteries and it's easy to take care of. You can also earn back money by sending extra power to the grid. But there are downsides. If there's a power outage, your solar system turns off to keep workers safe while they fix the problem. Also, some places are changing the rules about the credit you get for sending power back to the grid. You might get less credit than before. So some people are considering switching to a hybrid system, which I will discuss soon. In an off-grid system, solar panels connect to a charge controller, which charges the battery. The power then flows to the inverter charger and the distribution board. A generator can supplement power during cloudy weather or during winter. Off-grid solar systems are for places without easy access to the power grid, like remote cabins or areas where grid connection is too costly, for example a van, a boat or a cabin. Setting up an off-grid system takes planning. You need to figure out how much power you will use to get the correct number of panels and enough battery storage. I made a video on how to calculate this. Check it out after this one. Off-grid solar costs more upfront because you're buying batteries and more equipment. You can also use an off-grid system as a backup for your home. It can keep essential things like your fridge and lights on during a blackout. Check out my channel to learn how to build these off-grid systems for emergency power. You cannot use a string inverter for an off-grid inverter because it has to detect a grid in order to work. An off-grid inverter creates its own microgrid, so that you can use it without a reference signal. In a hybrid system, solar panels connect to a charge controller to charge the battery. The inverter converts DC to AC power, with a critical loads output that remains active even during grid outages. The inverter connects to the AC distribution board and then to the grid which is a backup power source when needed. Hybrid solar systems combine the benefits of being connected to the electricity grid with the independence of having your own battery storage. You can keep the extra power your solar panels make for when you really need it, during busy times, at night or if there's a power cut. The battery will still get charged with solar power when the grid is down. Having this kind of system means you're less dependent on the grid making your energy use more reliable. Plus, thanks to net metering, you can still get credits for any extra power you send back to the grid. A hybrid system is ideal if you have favorable net metering. If you pay 20 cents during busy hours and 10 cents per kilowatt hour during nighttime, you can charge the battery during the night and use it during the day. The diagram shows a DC coupled system where the battery is charged directly by DC power from the solar panels, allowing it to continue charging even if the grid goes down. Have you enjoyed the video so far? Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. In the next slide, I will explain an AC coupled system. I've upgraded my system from grid tight to a hybrid setup while retaining my existing string inverter, a transition known as an AC coupled hybrid system. The solar panels feed power into the existing string inverter, which then routes the electricity to the main AC distribution board. From this board, the power is directed to the inverter charger, either charging the battery 
or powering critical loads. The main AC board is also connected to the grid, with an energy meter installed to monitor the flow of energy between the system and the grid. In this configuration, we maintain a standard grid tied solar setup, aiming to reuse as many existing components as possible. Specifically, we harness the output from a string inverter to charge the battery. This setup typically includes an energy meter to monitor the energy flowing to and from the grid. I charge the batteries during the night and use energy during the day. I use a Victron Multi Plus 2 with a 5 kWh battery. One disadvantage of an AC coupled system is that when the grid goes down, there will be no solar power from the panels feeding the battery, because the string inverter will shut down to protect the people working at the power line. Using a Victron Multi Plus, you can connect the string inverter to the critical load's output. If the grid goes down, the Multi Plus will still power essential loads and charge the battery by creating a microgrid. The string inverter perceives this microgrid as the main grid. However, the solar power input must not exceed the power rating of the Multi Plus. In my case, I have a 10 kW solar array and a 5 kW inverter so I cannot do this. However, the inverter has two AC outputs, one for under normal conditions, for when the grid is active, and one critical loads output for when the grid goes down. When the grid goes down, the main AC output, going back to the AC distribution board, turns off. But the critical loads output stays active. You can wire your fridge, freezer, and essential lights into the critical loads output. They will be powered in a grid down situation until the battery is empty. Let me know your questions in the comments. Subscribe for more videos like this. And watch these videos next.